What's going on guys? Bennett, Skyway Equipment. Awesome. Monday morning sunrise going on here. Right now we're in St. Petersburg, right by Gandy Beach. It is 6.50 this morning. I got the 317G behind me. We're taking this right now to a customer who's gonna meet us at James's house. And then from there, him and I are gonna load up the uh, 325 in the grapple and the 30G and uh, try to get those guys out on the job site by 8.30. So let's see how that goes. Come join us for a little day in the life of two brand new equipment rental business owners. See if uh, we can learn something today, not mess up and not break anything. And uh, hopefully we can do a little work to our new uh, work truck 2003 F350. Got to try to put a bed on there and uh, do some miscellaneous items on there. So uh, come join us. See what you think. Maybe you want to get in the rental business. Not bad. Do a lot of driving. Spend a lot of diesel. But it should be a good day. So come join us. All right, guys. We're just getting here to James's. About to pull the 317 off. Give you a over here. We have our 30G mini excavator. It has either a 24 inch or a 12 inch bucket with the thumb. This is the grapple for the skid steers. This is a John Deere one. Over here. Thing is made very well. Um, we had a smaller one before, and uh, I think it bent the very first time somebody used it. But, uh, we've been using this thing for some time now, and it's been really good to us. Here's the excavator. So, same thing with this thing. It was on the job site a few weeks ago, and somebody busted the back window. So, we have a temporary fix in there right now until our window comes in. Um, you know, it is what it is. Part of running glass equipment on job sites. This machine, I believe, has the most hours out of all of them. I don't know if the key's in here. But, uh, same thing with this machine. AC cab. This one does not have a radio. But, uh, it's got AC. Closed cab, so it's nice. You're sitting in here digging. Um... So we're going to get this thing on the flatbed trailer, uh, we're going to get the 317G off that trailer, on the ground, the customer should be here anytime now, and then we're going to grab the 325, hook the grapple to it, throw it on that trailer, and uh, get going. So, keep tagging along. James getting the 325 loaded up. About to load the 30G on the trailer. This machine might be uh, one of our favorites. Just super simple. AC blows hard. Nice and cold in here. Got this thing on here. Need to chain it down real quick. James is about to uh, back up, grab some chains, get the 30G chained down. It's our. Uh, 2003 73 flatbed. We just bought it. Needed a work truck. Got a pretty good deal on it. Uh, just got to throw a deck on that bed. Um, he's off to Sefner. I'm on my way to Dover. Get these things chained down. And uh, we'll see you when we drop off. So just got here. Dropped this thing off to the customer. Got the contract signed, collected the payment, and uh, they're doing a little tree work. This, uh, this customer had the machine last week for, I think, four or five days, and uh, I guess there's one more tree back there somewhere that they got to get taken out. So he only has it till about 5 p.m. tonight, and then this machine's got to go up to uh, Dunedin, Palm Harbor area. So uh, they were cool enough, said to uh, throw the drone up, so I'm going to... Try to get a few photos and videos of this thing out there working. And uh, then we're going to go meet up with James, so stay tuned.
Just dropped off the equipment. We're here at Everglades, John Deere, and Plant City. Gotta see if they have our parts for the door. Some pretty cool stuff here. We're thinking about getting one of these mulchers. If anybody has any experience with them, let us know. James pulling up in the 7.3, baby. Another successful drop off in the books. We're here to look at our new equipment. They've got them all lined up for us. We'll take a couple of those away with us today. It's not every day you see a British guy pull up. 7.3 power stroke. This thing is one of the nicest trucks on the market on Facebook. It's missing the bed. We have one piece of wood. Look at this, man. These are our trailers that we got. We got two of these. This is a down to earth. And the other one is some locally made. Both of them are twin 7,000 pound axles. But yeah, I'm gonna go see what they got. Maybe uh, buy something new. We spend a lot of money here. I don't know if we really, really need to spend anything else, but uh, Josh here at Everglades takes really good care of us. Always has our back when we need something. So, we'll chat with you in a little bit. We're leaving John Deere. John Deere always send, seems to uh, bend us over. <laughs> Sorry, John Deere. We love you, though. But uh, $89 for this seal. $89 for two and a half gallons of uh, oil. And the customer paid for this pen that we were waiting for. So. We're gonna see if this thing starts and needs a battery. It's actually a pretty nice truck. Needs a little work, but the price of diesel right now. Oh, look at that thing, man. This thing's a freaking Freightliner. Starts every time. Okay, yeah, we got a few things we gotta do. We gotta get my guy to weld this uh, bed on there. The 7.3 uh, really, uh, Toe beast for this British guy. So, we're off to go get a new battery for it. I'm gonna get some breakfast first. It's been a long day so far, and it's only uh, it's only 10 o'clock. So, we'll check back in later. Getting us a little Chick-fil-A breakfast this morning. There we are, baby. <laughs> so we just got back from Home Depot, got the wood. Gonna put those right up on top. We're not really putting anything heavy on here, so we don't need anything super crazy. We're just gonna put a uh, diesel transfer tank right here when we get this on there, and uh, that's about it. Just miscellaneous, you know, tires, things like that. We went to this uh, parts store in Plant City, tried to get a new bumper. We actually tried to get a ranch hand. Um, they had one that would fit this truck that looked like it was like 15 years old and they wanted $750 for it. So we're just gonna leave this on there for now. The inside of this truck really isn't bad. It's pretty clean. Not bad at all. 130,000 miles, pretty decent tires. Gets the job done. So. Stay tuned, we're gonna finish this up. Do a little after video for you guys. Just finished up today's project. We got the bed on the F-350. Got 
came out much better than we thought it would. Last pickup of the day, just waiting on them to finish up with the uh, 325. I have to pick this thing up and uh, turn it around, get ready to go. It's uh, rented out up north tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Flew the drone, got some pretty cool shots. So uh, that's it, just waiting on this guy. We'll get her loaded up in just a few minutes when they finish up and uh, be on our way back to St. Pete. Well, we're gonna end the day here uh, getting a little diesel at 7-Eleven. Um, Got to take this machine home, give it a quick bath, and uh, get it ready to go up to Odessa tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. for a quick demo job. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's kind of a day in the life of uh, a starting equipment rental business. We're doing this on the side, and it's super, uh, super mobile and uh, pretty small right now. So uh, just James and I running the equipment around. We uh, kind of starting this page. There's really nobody uh, on YouTube doing any kind of uh, equipment rental, you know, starting a business, anything like that. So uh, we figured take you guys along, kind of show us some th stuff that we've learned. We started this business in October of 2022, and uh, we've had a few different pieces of equipment, and uh, we kind of have ended up now with Deer. They have the best um, customer service. The uh, parts guys are always available to help us get stuff when we need it. Uh, they just really make us feel like home at Everglades and uh, here in, I guess, southwest Florida. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment, shoot us a text. Uh, if you're in the Tampa Bay area and need a piece of equipment, give us a call. We can get you, uh, you know, skid steer, excavator, anything like that. Uh, we have some, hopefully, new equipment coming soon. We've got some stuff on order. Bobcat, MT100s, uh, nifty lifts, small construction type equipment. So. If you guys have any questions, feel free, give us a call. We'll uh, put our website down below and uh, look forward to making another video soon. So I'm currently on the side of I-4 right now. My machine is sitting on the side of the interstate and my trailer is missing a tire. Waiting for a buddy to come grab this machine. Huge lightning and thunderstorm behind me. That's all coming right towards me. So I'm hoping my buddy will be here in the next five minutes, get this thing loaded up and make it home. There's never a dull moment while renting equipment. It's not the machines, it's the trailers. Thankfully, it's not the truck.